And then, um, so let me start out with the multiple choice timed assessment. And then, um, let me do it this way. So I'm going to do the multiple choice timed assessment first with perplexity. Again, um, that's cheating. None of you should be doing what I'm doing. Uh, you know, this one is one of the few assignments that explicitly say no outside help. Any use of something like this is cheating per se. You shouldn't be doing it. And if you've ever done it, you should not be admitting to doing that. <laughs> so I'm not, so all this to say um, without being, um, um, without any joking, smiling. Uh, well, I'm not doing something that's a demonstration of anything that anyone should be doing. Now, there might be a way to use generative AI in an academically honest way, and that would be after you are done. So, you know, you, got, you get three attempts, and my advice to you is to study between attempts, you know. You do it once. If you get six out of ten and you want to do better, great, study before you do the next attempt. And as you are studying, you might want to see which ones you got right, which ones got wrong, what the reasoning is. That's the step where I think generative AI can be helpful. You can give it your question, what your answer was, and ask it, you know, was I right? And if I wasn't right, what was the right answer? And uh, perplexity has been good enough that I trust uh, 80% of, 90% of its answers. So it can be a great uh, virtual tutor like that. But uh, so that's the, oh, the only way I can think of where you would be using this in an academically honest way. If you have this, uh, if you're accessing anything outside while you are doing the timed assessment, that's cheating. Don't do that. It's, it won't help you anyway. So, so let me get started here. Uh, I'm all set. So as usual, when I cheat like this, uh, I'm going to first focus on just copying and pasting. I'm going to turn my physics brain off. I'll just um, copy and paste. So we'll start with that. If there's time left at the end, I'll try to figure out which one's perplex they got right. But if I run out of time, I can do it after the time limit. So let me start. All right. So let me just copy and paste. And I'm going to try again not putting A, B, C, Ds. Uh, it'll save me a little bit of time in copying and pasting. I just have to be careful in um, uh, understanding which one it says is the correct answer. Starting when, counter, starting when, starting when, okay. Uh, why is it taking so long? Um, I feel like this is a lot slower than it usually is. Yeah, I'm not imagining this, right? This is way slower than it usually is. It's not even a difficult question. Is lowest point measure the time it takes to get to highest point? Yeah, that is correct, I think. Again, my physics brain is off. I'm not really, I wasn't thinking about the question and It is definitely slower. Uh, I might run out of time. All right. Okay, let me have the next one ready. At least the one uh, upside of this. Okay, it's getting faster. All right, 80 bits per minute. Uh, I don't know if that's correct. I wasn't thinking about the question. And thinking about cheating. <laughs> uh. Uh correct statement of given simple so that one all right let's see i think i actually remember this one's answer to why no I, I gotta actually um i mean i can multiply and if i did that it's probably gonna be this maybe <laughs> i don't know all right this uh i have to type a bunch the mathematical expressions they don't copy well so yeah i think i i've memorized some of these answers from having done it so many times all right choose the expression which correctly in wave propagation a v stands for wave speed f stands for frequency 
lambda stands for that and t stands for a period and a lambda is equal to v over t b uh, v is equal to lambda t c f is equal to v over lambda e f is equal to v lambda good let me load up the next. I think I'm doing good in terms of time. If I have like five, six minutes left, I might be able to look through the answers. Um, if I don't, then, you know, I, I might just have enough time. I think a Perplex is definitely being slower today. Uh, I don't know. Maybe too many people are using it. Uh, there is some news item about uh, perplex devaluation. It might be at like a billion dollar valuation by now. So, um, so you know, growth means um, um, you know ne needing to scale servers and whatnot. And sometimes um, they don't do it quickly enough. Or you know, it could be the chat GPT that's uh, GPT that's uh, slow. Because perplexity, I don't think they have their own. Uh, large language model. They use, um, you know, it's a layer on top of other large language models that other people build. Uh, like Perplex is different from OpenAI, but when it uses GPT, they are using OpenAI product. It also uses cloud. I forget who makes cloud. Um, and uh, I haven't really looked into the options enough to uh, play with the settings. I'm kind of going with the default. Um, the one thing I've done is pay for the account so that I get fastest access I should get, which is quite slow today. Uh, standing wave is destructive interference, of course, at the locations of nodes. That sounds right. It's probably right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me paste the next one. And I got a, a wave speed V, wave frequency F, wave Lambda are related by the equation three F lambda. Additional information use me. Okay, I think that's all the question. Which is that? Okay. Yeah, I think I'm barely gonna have enough time. It's not anything to do with me. It's with the uh, perplexity. It is definitely being slow. And when it's a fast, um, it can go. I wonder if I can. No, I, I don't want to do it in parallel because it keeps track of my account. Uh, that might not actually add anything. I don't want to like, confuse one session with another session. So. So, yeah, we'll just suffer through. This is would be one of the reasons not to cheat because when you cheat, you don't have any control over those outside the resources you are using. Like if I had a study, know the material, like like the only component that matters is me myself. I can control that. But if you cheat, whatever outside the source you are using to cheat, hey, you simply don't control that. Uh, if it's a slow one day, it's slow one day. Look at this one. Yeah. It is answering in a format that makes it easier to cheat. I think it's somehow... I, I don't know if I like that it's helping me cheat, but I mean, uh, when, if it's answering faster, it, it kind of highlighting the choice like that actually would have helped me. Uh, but today, because it's answering so slowly, it's not helping me that much. Wavelength is length of the smallest portion. Is that that? Yeah. All right. Okay. I got two questions and how many minutes? Two questions and a little over two minutes. Yeah, so I won't have enough time to see if uh, its answers are right, but I'll have enough. Oh, what's happening? All right. Um, I'll have enough time to... Um, uh, finish asking all the questions, I think. It's calling a little close, but um, I think I do have enough time. Yeah, A little over two minutes, a question and a half. I think I have enough time. Sound wave, longitudinal wave. 
compression and reflection. Yeah, that. All right, next question, and uh, we'll be done asking questions. And I guess I can just start from top, counting of which ones are right, which ones are wrong. But in one minute, I know um, myself well enough that in one minute, I won't cover 10 questions with uh, sufficient accuracy. Although one thing that helps me is um, I'm because I'm starting with an answer from uh, perplexity, i just checking, is, is this correct? That does speed me up. So let's see which is not, uh, yeah, I think it, we said that that's correct, yeah. So 20 bits in 15 seconds, that's a quarter of a minute, so times four, yeah, that's 80, good. Um, amplitude of frequency and period, give a, regardless, yeah, that's correct. That I think I worked out before. Frequencies for you over lambda, yeah, that gives me correct to unit, so that's right, I think. Statement between, yeah, that's correct. Oh, is it gonna get everything correct? Uh, sound wave with speed increases, then wavelength, and the, uh, yeah, frequency generally remains the same, so that's correct. Um, yeah, that's correct. Uh, that's correct. Yeah, I think he got everything correct. <laughs> so, yeah, they must have, um, traded. Uh, although, I think last time I did this, it might have gotten everything correct then, too. So, yeah, I, I think it got 100%. Um, I'll submit it and see. Me, I only took like a minute or so to double check, so I could have been wrong, but I do think uh, both the perplexity and I are 100% right. Yeah, yeah, so, so yeah, let me do this. Uh, so, you know, I was scrolling through this a bit haphazardly, so let me just, uh, for those of you who might be looking at these questions and answers and trying to make sense of it, actually study from it, let me just scroll through this slowly. You can pause the video and, uh, make use of it what you will. So starting with the first question, this were its answer and explanation. Second question, answer and explanation. Uh, third question, answer and explanation. Fourth question, answer and explanation. Fifth question, answer and explanation. Sixth question, answer and explanation. Yeah, answer and explanation. I don't think the images usually correspond. Seventh question, um, answer and explanation. Eighth question, answer and explanation. Ninth question, answer and explanation. And tenth question, answer and explanation. Yeah, good. So, uh, so the, the, you know, it getting 100%, that's what's leading me to say, I think this can be a wonderful studying tool. So, you know, after you've answered, uh, you got something less than 100% and you want to do better, and as you're looking through, you can't quite figure out which ones did I get wrong, then you can totally, you know, copy and paste this, do something like this, you know. Here, let's imagine that I answered something wrong. I said 9,000 meters. Um, so, I answered 9,000 meters. Is that correct? If not, uh, what's the correct answer and why? Uh, you can do something like this. This should be, so if it's after you've already taken it, nothing you do here impl uh, uh, implicates any kind of academic dishonesty. And the answer that it gives might help you learn and do better the second time you do it. And uh, let's see if it correctly points out it's kilometers, not meters. And incorrect because, oh, yeah. So, and, and I guess looking at this, you might realize, oh, I mistook meters with the kilometers. Uh, and it's giving you how to calculate. That's probably something I already knew if I got this. Um, oh, a way it's actually converting that. Wow, that is uh, uh, so inefficient. Uh, all you have to do is just, you know, keep the kilometers. Just remember it's kilometers. So. Anyways, yeah. So you can use it like this. That would be academically honest.